All right, so this week, Subin, an ex-employee of the show before the show, went、um, explains to me what, why, how, and who is Kanye West. We talk about the recent Pete Davidson fiasco all the way back to the Taylor Swift incident. So let's get right into it. Explain, like I'm a five-year-old. What is Kanye? West? I will explain what is Kanye West, but before that, I will explain who is Kanye West. Kanye West is one of the biggest revolutionary. Music artists of our generation who has redefined the sound of hip hop and rap through new types of music that he invented with his experimentation, and most of the rap music that you listen to, most of the hip hop that you listen to today, are either directly or indirectly inspired by his works that he, that he was the first to do such revolutionary things.、Uh, apart from that, Kanye West is a Mentally ill person, I say that with due respect. In terms of he has like bipolar disorder and certain other things, probably.、Uh, he has the mental illnesses have led him to create very amazing albums and music, but、uh, it has also given him a lot of negative public、uh, public response.、Uh, so basically. There's a lot of conspiracies that run around Kanye West in terms of media and how he is projected through media. So Kanye West, since he is mentally ill, <coughs> he can't、uh, articulate what he's actually trying to say. So what he's trying to say is coming from a good place. He's trying to explain to you、uh, through some reference or some analogy that he's come up with. But when it comes to putting it out in words and Putting it in a conversation, it gets tough for him due to his mental illnesses, due to which he say, says a lot of absurd things sometimes, which are either which either sound like hate or just absurd. But if you look at it from the depth, it's actually he's trying to say something else. It's just pictured in a different way. And since the media is already trying to show Kanye in a negative light since the beginning only,、uh, they. Highlight the negative part of his comments and what or whatever action he did, instead of probably you know talking about getting him some help or something. मैं मुझे भी बोला था he was mentally ill. Swift उससे मतलब उससे पहले मैं ये कहना था भाई ऐसा कुछ खा मेरे को तो नहीं लगता उसका revolutionary music है. वो तो फिर music subjective है ना तू नहीं सुनता तू Christian worship songs सुनता है वो भी बनाता है गाने वैसे सुन के देखो. Jesus is King करके एक एल्बम है पूरी सुनी है मैं मैंने पूरी सुनी है I didn't like that album कोई बात नहीं तेरे को गिटार की आदत होगी ना सुनने की and also I didn't मतलब I was going to say he says anything but now that has it has he accepted <coughs> he is <coughs> mentally ill so he has accepted that he has mental illness मतलब he's been diagnosed yeah 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 he has an album called I love being bipolar I hate being bipolar it's awesome that's the name of the album it's one of、oh. very, one of my favorite Kanye albums So that's his thing. His mental illnesses stop him from saying what he's actually trying to say. But what he's trying to say is actually always coming from the from a good place. Ever since he's like reformed with Christianity, he's now he doesn't like put slurs or abuses in his songs anymore. If any featured artist slurs in the music, they he censors it out. So he's going the Christian way. It's just that he is not able to articulate it in the right way. Like recently, the anti-Jew, anti-Semitic thing that happened. Ha! So, oh, explain that. Yeah. So、oh. what happened was that he, in a conversational scenario, he was asked about like the Holocaust and everything, and he basically said that he、uh, loves Hitler, and he、uh, thinks Hitler like、uh, deserves forgiveness and everything. And people immediately, the media just the first thing they got from that was that they, he's being anti-Jew, anti-Semitic,、uh, and Then that's when he started getting cancelled on like Adidas and everything. All his brand deals got shut down. He was a billionaire, and suddenly, just after this one comment, he his net worth fell down to like two hundred, four hundred million from a billion. Hey. Yeah, yeah, he got his、uh, deal with、uh, Adidas got. Ha, I remember he. That, said, this was the whole part of his. He said was eight hundred around million ka ko, m- m- amount ki, worth. Uske hat se hat gaya uske worth. Us door aur piece jaate to. Aur uske alawa fir Gap ka bhi tha. Gap ke saath bhi deal thi. Wo bhi cancel ho gaya. Exactly. For- One by one, going. What is his deal with Adidas? मतलब क्या? What is the so Adidas? So Kanye West has his own line of footwear and somewhat clothing as well called Easy. Uh, he during his initial year he actually released that with Nike. There's like one pair of 
air easies uh but then that discontinued for whatever reason and then ever since then he's been with Adidas because Adidas gave him some certain level of like Jordan type of ownership but they had their own fuck ups in their contracts which eventually got revealed uh, recently because they cancelled uh, Kanye West and they cancelled their contract with him Adidas and now they're back with him because they have oh, deal obviously do uh, because they were not able to sell off the remaining inventory of Yeezys without his branding so they tried to make like kind of rip off shoes like uh-huh. Osvigos and all but they've got like whatever reaction but they were not easy easy so they at plus they had just a huge chunk of his what that has Adidas tried to do what Nike did with Jordans would they just do the same thing with no they, they were doing this? that they were doing that no but like what nike did with jordan huh. is it like the same sort of a deal with adidas it's a similar i won't say it's the same because i'm pretty sure since it's a corporate contract it has different levels of uh, but intent was that intent was that ki wave pe ride karke apne aap ko bada bana exactly yeah that that was kind of the intent and they basically once they cancelled their deal with him they basically realized in the couple of months that they were not able to sell off the easy that they, the easy that they had left so they eventually they've now, they've now passed up i don't think that makes a con- that makes kanye back into a billionaire but yeah i hope I he gets kanye was a billionaire so yeah i actually uh, unironically was supporting for him to become president of united states because oh ha ye bhi oh shit i, for- I forgot ye bhi to tha ha bhai kanye west genuinely wanted to become i if i was an american citizen i would have voted for him for the joke and also for like in real life as well because i would have liked to see what happens if kanye becomes a president because i'm pretty sure he would have the right type of cultural knowledge to deal with things but he's also very religious and since he's now adapted back to christianity so i am an atheist but on the very down low i think that kanye might be a message to christians very christian like he basically he he will talk to people in like i don't know if it's first person second person third person i think it's some person so basically this is how he will text like if you and kanye are friends and he <clears throat> just wants to hit you up and ask you what's up he'll text you this is straight up what he's going to text you this year yeah is his name this year find god so that's what he'll text you so that's the kind of <clears throat> uh language that is on what well, 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 why like then how do you decipher that it could be religious influence could be mental illness ka influence could be a mix of both could be the current scenarios that happen he got divorced recently doesn't have much time to spend with his kids he's married to a girl that who looks like Pete Davidson ha so that th- okay that is the latest kanye news that i every 2022 every week there was a kanye news coming out yeah yeah and This is why do you think that is so? Why? So like Kanye could have been doing all of these things in his private time, in his own private space, but there was always media there to capture whatever he was doing. Why was that? Because they're always trying to cook something up about him. But why is this hate there for? Because he's a revolutionary figure. So basically, he is like, for me at least, he is a revolutionary artist. But no one's perfect, right? He's also like an accepted. narcissist so he huh. takes too much pride about being himself uh, i was watching a lex friedman podcast with kan and uh, us bande ne bol diya ki school mein history nahi padhani chahiye that's that's the okay so that's what i'm trying to say he what he's trying to say is something different but related to what he said it's just that the way he says it out loud is not very articulate not very yeah. clear he can't say it properly what, what he's thinking or what he's feeling Okay, the Pete what Pete did it's a controversy. Explain that like a five year, I mean like a five year. Okay, so you have data about Kanye West that he is uh, mentally ill, which means that he is vulnerable and can be triggered hey. at certain levels of uh, life. Uh, he is a devout Christian who is following the way of life ap- according to how it's written in the Bible. Uh, third thing, he's famous, which means cameras are always on him. even when he thinks it's not and he has access to social media so he will express because he's an artist he, that's what he know, knows what to do so he had like just recently broken up with Kim Kardashian they just settled their divorce 
and like a month later or something is when Pete Davidson started going out with her. So, oh, I thought Pete Davidson started going out with her while they were. No, 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 no. So they got divorced, and okay. Kanye was, of course, not feeling good about it. He he didn't have much time to go see his kids. He was kept from meeting his kids and all as well. So he was kind of agitated, frustrated, uh, and then on top of that, to find out that she's now dating this fuck all. Mm. Not fuck all. I think Pete Davidson is very funny, but this guy out of nowhere. So he spashed out. He expressed on social media through songs. A lot of things. He expressed his distaste for him. Pete Davidson also like texted him to like try to resolve it, and Pete Davidson actually pulled some really fun tricks in in between the conversation. You can find it up on in the internet. Hmm. But yeah. Sir, how did this end? So basically, Kanye made his peace with it. Uh, Pete Davidson got, uh, I think, Kim and the kids' names or something tattooed on him. But then a couple of months later, Kim and Pete Davidson broke up. So and then he probably covered up the tattoos. Probably I, I'm assuming. But he went on to date Emily Ratajkowski. Just hmm. knows. And currently, he's probably I don't know who he's looking for. I think Pete Davidson gave Pala like he's a little character. <laughs> okay, ah, huh. so uh, what is the thing with Kanye dating this new person who looks? He, like he's not dating. He's married to it. Yeah, he got married. I think this woman he's married to. She was some creative uh, manager or something at Easy and Easy or either Gap. Probably Easy, yeah. Well, don't you think it's a little messed up that she looks like Pete Davidson and he's saying so eventually initially when they were just married she looked a lot like Kim Kardashian now she looks more like Pete Davidson how is that possible so back when they were getting married she had like long black hair and a figure similar to Kim Kardashian and she also wore clothes similar to Kim Kardashian's looks but currently the recent photos that have come out us mein she's wearing Very weird clothing, either very baggy clothes, and she's like got a uh, buzz cut now and uh, blonde hair, so she kind of looks like Pete Davidson. That's the face mostly looks like Pete Davidson. I have seen the photo. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. I think Kanye is uh, truly embracing love. Mm-hmm. Any any more Kanye facts you got? I mean, there are already a lot of videos about that out there about him interrupting Taylor Swift's. Oh yeah, he. I mean, my brother, I mean, he. Yeah. This is 2015 Grammys, man. No? I think it was 2008, probably. I don't remember exa- exactly. 2008 or 2015, not Grammys. MTV Video Awards, I think, something like that. It was. Mm-hmm. So Kanye was the host of that event, mm-hmm. that uh, award show, and Taylor Swift had just won the award for best music video of the year, I guess. Mm-hmm. And she was going to give her acceptance speech. In the middle of that, Kanye ran back to her, stole the mic from her, and said, "Ki, I'm gonna let you, uh, Taylor, I'm gonna let you finish." Uh, but Beyonce had the best music video of all time. As I was bolke, uh, bolke chala gaya. And sab aise ho aur kya Taylor Swift ho, aise lagi bati ho, aur kya bol diya. And Beyonce ka shot dete, Beyonce bhi aise bura maine dete, fuck bhai, kya bolke chala gaya, kya do? Fir wo khud uthi aayi. से खुद उठ के आई उसने क्या कहते टेलर स्विफ्ट को फिर से वो अवार्ड दिया कि ये ले भाई तेरा है ये रख प्लीज रोना बंद कर मतलब चौकी भी थी शायद रो भी रही थी फिर वहाँ पर उनका बीफ स्टार्ट हो गया था फिर उसमें बीच में किम कार्डाशन भी इन्वॉल्व हुए टेलर स्विफ्ट और कान्य का बीफ स्टार्ट हो गया था उसके मैंने टेलर स्विफ्ट से ज्यादा गाने में सुने But like this, he's done enough revolutionary work for me to consider that he's compensated for all the stupid shit he does otherwise. Because I am yet to have a problem with his music. So although I know how to separate the art from the artist, but I can't see how his art doesn't influence his daily life. All right, so that was something between me and Zubin on Kanye West. The idea is that there is no idea. I don't know where the show is heading because the previous version of the show takes a lot of time, money, and energy to build, which I don't have right now. So Sam or show, I don't know where it's going, but I'm thinking it's somewhere. So if you have any feedback, please write it down in the comments. It will help a lot. If you like the video, please like it. 
share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel it genuinely helps a lot it helps get the word out and if you like this one check out some of the other videos which are linked here where where wherever and if you enjoyed it hope to see you guys next week thank you